Joe, a thrilling victory that the deciding frame went one way, then the other, but you must be very proud of how you managed to get yourself over the line and into a semi-final. Yeah, it was, um, it was a good battle between me and Luca, and, and I think uh, the people there watching would have enjoyed a good match. What's it like playing against him? He's a very, very attacking player, and you kind of always feel as if he's, he's going to go for, for his big shots, and uh, how, how do you try and combat that? Um, just try and keep it tight, you know, every time I leave a long one that, that, he, that he's eyeing up, I know that he's got a good chance of going in and, you know, probably lose a frame from it. So, um, you know, try and keep my safety tight and, and don't give him any sort of opening chances to get in. You had a very good year in 2019 when you got to the Welsh Open semi-finals. I think you beat John Higgins a couple of times, but this season you seem to be beating the big players more regularly, that brilliant run to the Scottish Open final. What, what, what do you think is different about the mentality or the way, way you're playing this season? Um, I'm not entirely sure. I think having the sort of run at the Scottish um, has given me sort of reassured my confidence. You know, I, I think I said it earlier in the week. Um, it's just believing in myself a little bit more during the, you know, when I'm inside the balls and, and you know, in and around the balls. Break, making breaks, I, can, I think I can second guess myself a little bit um, and that sort of seemed to have gone out the window a little bit which lets me sort of free flow when I'm you know, making breaks. We were watching, there was a lovely piece you did with Alan McManus on the practice table before the, the match today and you, one of the things you were saying to him was that, that uh, about the fact that you, were, you, you obviously used to be a pool player and I, I don't think you've even got on a snooker table until you were 16, 17. You know, back, back when you were competing on that sort of pool circuit when you were younger, would you, would you have ever dreamed of been playing on a stage like this in a big snooker semi-final? Uh, no, although um, when I was playing pool, obviously Mark sort of broke through Selby. Um, so I have sort of watched him sort of do it and that's always been the goal, you know, follow sort of in his footsteps and he's achieved so much now that uh, there's a big gap to go. <laughs> did, did he, I know you used to play pool with him quite a bit, did he sort of try and encourage you to go down the snooker route and try, try and sort of get into it? Um, I can't quite remember, I, I'm not sure to be honest, I was quite young, um, you know, I only started playing pool when I was maybe 11, 12, um, which was probably quite late, it's probably, probably quite late for snooker players, I know a lot of snooker players start, you know, seven, eight years old, so... Um, yeah, I just enjoyed and I was winning at pool, so you know, I just stuck with it while I could. Did that competing in those sort of junior world finals and things in pool sort of stand you in good stead, maybe even for the, the, the mental side of, of what you're doing now? Yeah, I, th I think it did. I won quite a lot as a junior and I think that sort of winning mindset, um, never giving up um, sort of side of my game was developed and, and that's put me in good stead for, you know, on the tour, you know. A huge semi-final up next now against Ali Carter. What what sort of test are you expecting against Ali? Um, I'm expecting you know the same as uh, every other player in this tournament. You know the, the best best 16 performers of, of the season. You know Ali winning the um, uh, Berlin. He's obviously on top form, and I won't be taking anything for granted. Yeah, I know you're very level-headed and keep it one game at a time, but you are only two away from the title now. How, it's a huge event, as you say, the top 16 players. How, how much would it mean to, to lift the trophy this week? Like I said, I don't really want to think about that too much. Um, but no, it, it would be amazing. That's what you, as a snooker player, that's what you dream of, you know, lip, uh, lifting trophies. And yeah, um, I, I won't be thinking about it too much until we get to the final, at least. We'll let you off for that. Well done today and all the best. Cheers, thank you.